Hi guys, this is Janeko from Atlas 3DSS and I'm going to do a really short video on how to basically set up the values on your support settings and what we actually use at Atlas and how to save them comparatively to Cheetobox. So a lot of you guys have been asking us, uh, since you are all migrating from Cheetobox or most of you are, uh, which settings are we running and if we can share the config file for it. So the problem is Lychee uses a inbuilt storage and cloud system for saving your personal settings to your actual account, login details as settings for your printer and settings for your support. So I'm going to show you what we actually use as values at Atlas and how to save them. So I'm using a one page rules uh, mummy uh, as an example. And let's start with, I'm going to start with lights, then mediums and heavies. So to actually do this, it's just a matter of selecting whatever you want on these layouts. And basically the settings we run is, you go to the global and use between 1 to 1.5 millimeters thickness and this will set up the thickness on the overall um, on the overall uh, support so i'm gonna introduce 1.5 on tip diameter we are currently running on lights oh by the way so this just says that there's a conflict between the medium and the light with the values that we actually introduced don't worry, disregard that, you are still working on lights, we are going to override all of this into the actual values we want. So continuing on, we are using a tip diameter of between 0.2 and 0.25 for lights. On the tip length, we are using 3. This will be the most dynamic and changeable uh, setting that we can use, because every time you move the ball joint up or down, this value will change. So bear with me going into the tip section we are just going to do no changes at all because it will import from global besides tip penetration should be set to zero and on the bases uh, you can change we were using cubes as a base but now we are adding rafts to everything so in the end it will not actually matter so we were working on lights remember so the way that you store this is you go into the custom and you override the preset that you actually want to save. In this case will be the lights. So basically it's saved and that uh, conflict that was existing, it's no longer there. You can change between whatever you want, but anytime you go to the lights, it will have the values that you actually inputted um, firstly. So going into mediums. Mediums are exactly the same thing, but the tip diameter will be set between 0.3 or 0.35. That's actually what we are using as mediums. Everything will remain the same. So tip length is three millimeters, tip diameter and penetration. Uh, so sorry, uh, tip penetration will be set to zero. And once again, we have a conflict. Disregard that we are working on mediums, make sure. So then we'll do whatever we need and in the end we overwrite the preset for mediums and now as you can see there's no conflict at all our lights are at 0.2 and our mediums at 0.3 on the tip for heavies uh, this is actually one of the most dynamic and flexible settings we are using right now so we are using still a pillar of 1.5 thickness but our tip diameter right now can vary from 0.35 to actually 0.6 or more, depending if it's terrain or a miniature and depending on the location. Uh, I will do a video later on explaining why we are having such a huge range for heavies. But for now, just bear in mind that that's actually a huge interval that we are using. So let's introduce 0.35, the tip length to 3. Once again, go to tip penetration, set to zero, and then check that everything is as you wanted. There's no conflicts, but that would not matter at all. Go to heavies and click on override. Now you have your lights, you have your mediums, and you have your heavies. 
So what I was trying to say is just using this anchor point as uh, example, on the bottom of the feet, you want anchorage to the best that you can and damage is not actually a preoccupation. You don't need to worry about that. So we can actually go heavier than 0.35 to make sure that model really sticks. So you can go and move the slider to whatever you want. But then even if you forget, remember that your baseline is at 0.35. So even if you use a heavy on any other place and you see, oh, this is too much, just click on the layout on the, yeah, on the layout that you actually created and you will go back to the baseline. This one will be still at 0.5 as you can see. This one will be at 0.35, which is the baseline we set up. So I hope this was useful for everyone. And uh, we are going to leave a link uh, for our Discord page. If you guys have any other question, just ping us there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy and have a great week.